analyst Jalen Rose and Matt Barnes. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. And, and what Brian just laid out is, is interesting because this idea of leverage, whether Kevin Durant has it, whether or not he needs to gain it, regain it. Jalen, I want to start with you here. How do you process what he can do in this situation? So you have the leverage when you're being recruited. So when Kyrie and KD first joined on, they yeah. had all of the leverage. We love Sean Marks, obviously, because we signed, and we get to pick whoever we want to be our coach. They chose, in theory, Steve Nash. The next thing, you guys want to get James Harden? Cool. Mm. We're going to make that happen. That didn't work out. We need to trade James Harden for Ben Simmons. We get him back. He plays zero games. Now, all of a sudden, we get swept out of the playoffs. You still got four years left on your deal. Mm. That's you don't piece. have no leverage anymore mm. because you clearly like what I was doing, Matt, because you re-signed. Mm. Yeah. So how does he get the leverage back? They got a ball now. That's it. Kyrie's still under contract. Wendy just talked about their roster. He gets the leverage back by them going out being one of the best teams in the East, trying to get to the championship and being the easy money sniper dominant like one of the best players in the game. I mean, Jalen pretty much said it all. I mean, the fact that he re-signed that long-term yeah. deal kind of handcuffs him. And that's, that's going to be KD when it's all said none of this contract is going to have over $350 million coming from the net. So as Jalen said, and I think what everyone just wants to see is this team to really go out and play full force with the health whether they're happy or not at this point that's going to be relevant <laughs> I, they got to be a healthy Kevin Durant a healthy right. Kyrie Irving who wants to play and a healthy Ben Simmons mentally and physically to play Joe Harris coming back who's to say this team isn't a possible contender if they can all lock in on the same page so it's just a tough situation but also Malika what I think blew up I think Kevin Durant would have got traded this summer if the Rudy Gobert trade didn't mm. happen mm. The, the the president they said with the four picks the swaps the quality players they sent for Rudy Gobert. I understand why the Nets are asking for a King's Ransom because if you can get four first round for Rudy Gobert, I want eight or ten for Kevin Durant. So I kind of get it, and I feel like that Gobert trade completely messed up his chances of being traded. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.